So welcome back to Bangkok, the capital of the country of smiles. And we're based here at the Impact Arena. In fact, the very arena that we're in at the moment was used for boxing during the 13th Commonwealth Games in 1998. And a magnificent venue it is too. Well, after that uh, mixed doubles and a very impressive performance by Christiansen and Boya, we turn our attention to another mixed doubles. And this time it's the European Games bronze medalists and number three on the race to the World Tour finals, Tom Jikel and Delphine Delvoru, up against a Danish combination of Mikkelsen and Sovo. New combination, the Danes after that will have women's singles and Pontui Chochuong. And then men's doubles, that men's doubles should be a cracker because it's a repeat of last year's Spanish Masters final. That was a Super 300 event. Then we've got men's singles and the 2018 World Championship bronze medalist, Liu Darren, up against the 2019 World Championship silver medalist, Anna's Antonsen. And then we finish with women's singles and the Ratchanuk Intanon, two-time former champion. In fact, four times she's been in the final here at her home event up against the Singaporean Yoju Min. So plenty to look forward to. And as far as our next match is concerned, the mixed doubles, well, this is in the third quarter of the draw and within this quarter you can see the number eight seeds the two left-handers from hong kong tang and si they've safely come through their match in two straight games very tight opening game against the married couple of uh, sumi's uh, ready and siki ready so this makes doubles i can tell you from the draw we started with two former champions one in one each half one. but one Mixed of the former double. champions the winners Tom from Kikuel 2018 Faisal and Wajaya if you were with us yesterday you would have seen that they actually lost their match Versus their opening match from Denmark. so this is the French Antoine. pair Evo of Tom Schickel and Delphine Delru. And now the Danes, Mikkel Mikkelsen and uh, Ricky Subo. Danish combination only formed their partnership at the Denmark Super 750 event, the only tournament on the HSBC BWF World Tour since the All England last year and it was wonderful that Denmark actually got badminton restarted and now we've uh, really been treated to three weeks of three tournaments here in Bangkok that really is wonderful and huge credit to the Thai Badminton Association for all their hard work to get these tournaments organised and underway. Well, not surprisingly, the fact that Mickelson and Sovu are a brand new pair. This is the first meeting between these two pairs. So, nice words there from our umpire, Ivo Kassel, who wishing both pairs good luck before the start of this match. Hugely talented player, this young man, Tom Jigel. And we should give a belated happy birthday because he turned 22 yesterday. Born in Tours in west central France, gateway to the Loire Valley. I think probably my co commentator, Steen, might know more about that than I do. <laughs> Just joking, Steen. 15 on the world ranking. They spent four weeks at number 15 before the rankings were frozen and that was on uh, after the rankings published on the 17th of March the rankings were frozen so this is Delphine Delru 22 years of age and they're actually making their third consecutive appearance here 
in 2018. They lost in the qualifying. 2019 lost in the first round to Alimov and Davlietova in three games. And if you were wondering that my maths has gone slightly awry, of course, last year the Thailand Open was cancelled like many sporting events globally. So they were bronze medalists at the European Games in Minsk in Belarus in 2019. And this is Mikkel Mikkelsen, 28 years of age, born in the Danish cattle of Copenhagen. He's a tall man, isn't he? 190. That's just a fraction of under six foot three. And I can tell you that he used to have a very good partnership. His highest ranking, I believe, actually was with my Sorov, where he reached 29 in the world. Ready to play? So Ruki Sovu is 25, so she'll turn 26 next month, born on the suburbs of Copenhagen. And they are making their first appearance as a pair and as individuals, the two Danes here at the Thailand Open. Well, as I was telling you, our arm path for this one is Ivo Kassel from Switzerland and Wayana from Indonesia is the service judge. So a huge welcome to former Danish head coach Steen Peterson because Steen, all these changes of partnerships, I think they happened because Matthias Schmidt had uh, hip surgery, didn't he? He was a regular partner of Ricky Subo. Yeah, that's right, Jill. He was, um, had um, oh. double hip surgery, actually. Good gracious. Is he all right? Is he recovering? He's, he's on uh, the recovery trail. Um, I'm not sure he started uh, practicing uh, badminton yet, uh, but, um, but he's looking to, um, to come back. Well, we wish him a, a full recovery as soon as possible, all of us. Uh, because, in fact, with Ricky Subu, they won the Swiss Super 300 event of 2019, having been promoted from the qualifying. Ladies so he must be a hugely talented on player. My right, Delphine Delru and Tom Schickel, France. And on my left, Ricky Subu and Mikkel Mikkelsen. Denmark. Delphine Derru to serve to Mikkel Mikkelsen. Love all. Play. So the French combination, Gikel and Delru. Far side of the court as we're looking down right now. And I think, Steen, that Jiquel and Del Rue are a pair that's made One huge luck. improvements. I was going to say over the last year, but of course we can almost write off 2020. Uh, I think I'm probably talking about the last two years, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. huge improvements, haven't they? I think so. Um, I remember we saw them oh! in, uh, was it Indonesia and Malaysia in January last One year where they uh, performed all. well. Yes, in fact, last year they reached the semi-final of the Indonesian Masters, lost out to the eventual runners-up, Wang Ilu and Wang Dongping, but they had beaten Pua Varanukro and Teyurat Panashat, yeah. who are the number one seeds here at the Thai Open. They beat them in the last 16, and then in the quarter-final, they beat now the All England champions, Jordan and Octavianti. So that really was huge results for them. Yeah. He was um, he was injured, uh, Tom Gikel, and, and wasn't participating in um, the Denmark Open Super 750, and neither the um, Salo Lux Super 100 tournament that was played in the um, in the fall. Uh, just before Denmark Open, he um, he sprained his ankle, and um, that was of course a loss of opportunity. Now they've put themselves in Let a really good position to to qualify two for the uh, World Tour finals. The two. French players. So it's going to be interesting to see if um, if he's back in in good shape. Tom Kikot. Ah! 
Oh. Lucky net cord. Three, two. Over. Quick glance back from Shikel. Three. Perhaps thinking four. that that return of serve may have gone long. Yeah. Would it have a chance? It would have had a chance. Well, <laughs> yes, great deception. Service over. Five. Three. Sent Mikkel Mikkelsen totally in the opposite direction. It hurts your pride a little bit when that happens. attacking play, aiming Four, towards the right five. hip yeah. of Delphine Del Rue. Yeah, she was too committed to the backhand defence. Over six five. Not a really good lift from uh, Mikkelsen there. You can see he more or less sold his partner. She didn't have time to uh, get back to uh, get in a good position for the smash from uh, Delphine de Rit. Oh, good defense. Yeah, great reactions initially from Mickelson. Seven, five. Look at that. That was the one. Service oh. over. Six. I like the idea, Thirsty. Just change yeah. of pace there, not going full power, as you kill. Yeah, and he, he's, in my opinion, sort of, he has some of the traits of a, in quotation mark, true mixed doubles player. Um, the ones from the old days, um, where it was a lot of flat game, a lot of mid court game. Uh, Keeping the initiative and so on. Eight, I don't think seven. he's he's been a, a, a really strong singles player um, in his youth in France. Probably he's been reasonably good because of um, of his overall skills. But but it's not like, um, for instance, Mikkel Mikkelsen when he was um, 
a youngster. He was the best in his age group in um, in Denmark, and uh, up until recently played uh, quite a bit of, uh, of men singles. So he's transformed to mixed doubles, where I think you know, great Tonki Keller is a more native mixed doubles player, so to speak. Mm, interesting. Nine, seven. I know that Jiquel did play a very good men's doubles. Yes. And he still plays the occasional men's doubles, but he was European junior champion in men's doubles back in 2017 with Toma Popov. Yeah, they had a really good um, group of players there, France. Oh my goodness, another net called by the French combination. I feel like we almost have to mention that um, that France, they have another strong mixed doubles pairing and they were about to create an upset yesterday before losing 10 straight games against... Uh, points. 10 straight points, yeah. That, that would have been a lot, <laughs> 10 straight games. <laughs> then we wouldn't rate them as good anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. I think it was against... It was Gosun Huat and uh, yes. Shivan former Jimile. Former finalists. 17 11 up in the decider and then lost 10 straight. That's and the match. Nice. That is amazing. But it's valuable for Kikel and um, Delory to have someone to spar with uh, back home in uh, Paris. Play. Thomas Stangor, doubles coach in Denmark. Accepted by uh, Ricky Sophie. Yes, the way. I always think matches like this are very intriguing, Steen, because we don't know an awful lot about this Danish pair as a pair. No, exactly. And, and the French pair, now the number three on the Play. Race to the World Tour finals, and they've enjoyed the success of reaching the final of the Spain Masters. We were talking about the semi-final of the Indonesian Masters. So in a way, they're expected to win now. Now yeah. they're under pressure. Exactly. It's not an easy match for them. And having been... 7-5 up, they now find themselves 8-11 down at the mid-game interval. So did you manage to catch any of that, Steve? Uh, yeah. Um Stanko, he's one of the coaches who speaks up so we can hear him. That's, yes. that's <laughs> nice. We have to commend him for that. Um, it was something about the flat game where he wanted Mikkel to either block it or play it over um, Tom Kikel. So to keep him away from that uh, mid-court game, which I think is uh, is quite clever. Oh, that's well left. Well, hey. And then... Um, Stango also wanted uh, Ricky Sopi to uh, to move forward as soon as the chance was there. So they felt that uh, Delory uh, was um, doing okay in the defense. Um, I don't know exactly what that information was for, but probably something connected to their pre-match discussion. That is over. Yeah. Nine, well, yes. No, it's, it's a fairly new pair, and, and um, 
I can't remember how they did in, in Denmark Open, but it was not that good uh, if they won a match. Um, they did win one match. They did win one yeah, match. Yeah, and then yeah. they lost the eventual champions. Ah, Memphis okay, so you, you, can't, you can't really blame them too much no, for that. No. But I've seen them in, uh, in some of the league matches, and they they haven't really... Um, they haven't really found their style yet, in my opinion. Um, hey! Service over, 13, 9. When Mikkel, uh, sorry, when Ricky played with uh, Matthias uh, Bay, it was more given exactly what to do, but Mikkel Mikkelsen is a, is a strong all-round player and also a little bit more adventurous in his playing style, so... Um, Following a, a strict tactic is perhaps not um, the easiest over. thing for him. Ten, that was a wonderful smash from Shikel. Great placement. And we have to remember that Play. the French pair, they will also have very, very little information about the two Danes, something that they've could been able to derive from the other pairings that they've been playing in. So this uh, interval here was actually really important because now they have a little bit of experience playing them. And um, interesting to see if they can make some adjustments. Yeah. It was a great flick serve, by the way, wasn't it? Lacked the quality, the uh, second last shot from Sobi. That one. That's exactly where Tonki Killer wanted it. So just one point in it now. Over 14 12. Ricky Sobi played a lot of, um, if not her entire youth career, uh, with uh, Matthias Christiansen, actually. Who we've just seen on court. Yeah. Good return of yeah. and I was 15, looking at the position 14. of Ricky Sobi when uh, look how how she's staying. She's she's uh, almost ready in that um, left side of the court there. On court two, men's that seemed like a set play from the Danes. from Netherlands. Hey. Versus Ankus from Hong Kong, China. Fifteen, all. Umpire, Daruni Ma Songpong from Thailand. Service judge, Robertus Tommy Oscariano from Indonesia. Hey. Hey. Sixteen, oh, fifteen. Some very audible verbal celebrations going on from the French combination. 
I personally don't particularly like it when your opponent makes a, an error on serve, but each to their own, I suppose. Yeah. Oh! 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 That was lucky. I don't think he would have got into that one, uh, Tonki Kill. That is perfect. No, you can't argue with that. No. Four straight points now. And if I were the Danes, I would uh, look for a spot to be dried on the court. They're down 10 4 since the uh, interval. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh, that's, that's a challenge. Yeah. Mikkel Mikkelsen challenges called in. Crucial, couldn't it? What does Hawkeye say? Here we go. Yeah, plum on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 19. So two points away from the opening game. Play. Five straight points now. Another good serve. Yeah. Yeah. Six straight points and five game point opportunities. And it's actually 11-2 for the French pair since they were down 13-9. So that's that's really a bad patch for the Danes and a good one for Gikel and uh, Delorette. Oh, it's landed in. That's a misjudgment yeah. from Mickelson. So on a run of seven straight points, Gikel and Delru. 21-15, as confirmed by the umpire. 19 minutes for that opening game. Yeah, that was clearly in, wasn't it? That's a bad misjudgment from Mickelson. So, Tom Jikel and Delphine Delorue, one game to the good on that run of seven straight points from 14-15 down in the opening game. Closed out the first very impressively. So, Steen, what was the Danish coach saying? Uh, we came in in the middle of it, I think. Um, and what I could understand, one they felt that um, Delorue and uh, Gikel, they were serving really well um, in that uh, run of points there. And they had difficulties getting out of the service situation in a good way. Let's see now what... Um, yeah, that's a great serve, but also a good return. Serve is over. 
One all. So they felt that um, they were behind a little bit from uh, the beginning of the rallies and um, discussed a little bit on what to do um, when they were facing these good services. So first three, four rallies are really important. That's too steep, that one. <laughs> two, one. We saw it here that um, Michael Mikkelsen trying to, I don't know if he was trying to play the mid court or trying to push, but, but um, there was no room for it. Really good service by Nicky Kill. And that then it stopped. Two, three. And th that's just crucial in the mixed doubles to be able to serve well. On court three, mixed double. Yeah, John Jensen. Suspect the serve a little loose Austria though. Four, from Germany. Two. Versus Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith from England. Oh, that's a good return. Yeah, and they've targeted that um, long forehand corner uh, three, from. Um, Van from the even side there, you can see Ricky Sobri is all the way out to um, the first sideline. So I guess they have a read that even if Gikel gets it, he will play it straight back. Good shot. Goes over. Five, three. Excellent play by Kikel. Oh, yes, well taken. And it, it's got a lot to do with Three. both the service, but also the third and the fifth shot where he goes for control, Tom Kikel. And, and that's, I really like that to sort of protect, try to protect your partner from uh, being exposed to the uh, attack from uh, Mikkel Mikkelsen. See if you can uh, keep the initiative play from above the tape. It's always a good formula in the mixed doubles. They don't know what to do. He, he's serving too well. I know he's made one Ten, error, but um, the ones that are passing the uh, tape, they are really, really good. Here we can see it. Yeah. Oof. That was too short. That was a really good angle for us to see it in. It's a little bit difficult for us to spot it unless we hear it from the coaches or or uh, look at other signs in the game that um, is serving so well when we see it from, um, from that camera position there. Ah. You've got to be taking Four. those opportunities. Yes, you? That, that's too loose. And I think the idea was right because I would, I would recommend them to get Derry away from the net, to get her out in open play, so to speak. Uh, even though they feel that her defense is okay, we just have to target her because the way it's, it's going the other way, that, that that's not working. Yeah. We got to get her uh, the, in a, the opposite position. a half smash there yeah. from Gikel. That's Excellent. clever. And I think that's part of the uh, French plan. What to play, play those half smashes. Because, I mean, what can you do? That's some of the best you can do. I mean, had that been in, he would still have been able to play it. Maybe play across uh, at the net or something Nine, like that. Five. But we also saw the Danes change the defense around. Ricky Sopi made her way to the net. But then she got too eager and pushed the one at the net instead of blocking it, securing the attack for Mikkel Mikkelsen. So she pushed it, and that allowed Gikel to regain control of, um, of the rally. 
Oh, that's sweet. That's a lovely shot. Yeah. I think Five. they just have a better plan uh, than the Danes, uh, Gikel and uh, Derry, and the skills to execute it. Michael Mickelson only recently joined the uh, national team uh, full time, even though he's 28. Oh, they're challenging Mr. that. Challenges called in. It's difficult to see from up here, but I have a feeling that it might have been in. Here we go. No, oh no, out. it was out. It was out. Correction yeah, out. Yeah, good challenge. Service is over. Six, ten, play. Service is over. Eleven, six, in the wall. Well, the Danes are going to have to rethink because this is a handsome lead now in the second game for Jikel and Del Rue. Five-point advantage. Tu peux même partir plus tôt, limite. Parce qu'il ne va pas bloquer pour lui. Il ne va pas bloquer pour lui. Même s'il bloque, il prend un risque parce que ça le fait avancer et après derrière. Come on. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Play. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't like that. I, I think he only got wheel spin. Let's have another First look. one is wheel spin, but then he Slips. rolls over a little bit on his left angle, but yeah. uh, I well, think it's... Um, He's hopefully okay. okay. Oh yes, it 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 did go there. That's yeah. why he took that second tumble. Oh dear, I do hope he's okay. Oh. Oh. Suffered a severe injury when he was uh, under Don't 19 over. player Mikkel Mikkelsen at the Danish under 19 championships. I remember I was actually on my way to watch the final between him and Victor Axelsen. That was Seven, a really exciting well. match waiting to happen, but Victor lost in the semi final. And uh, Mikkel Mikkelsen, he uh, sprained his knee severely and was out for, I guess, almost a year or so. So that really put a, a hold to his, um, his career. Yes, and that obviously also prevented him going to the World Junior Championships, which Victor Axelsen then went and won. Yeah. Service over, 13 14-7. in the defense by yeah. uh, Gikel. 15, uh, seven. And since 13-9 um, in the first game, there's pretty much only been one pair yep. on, uh, on court. Oh, 
There's the confusion of the new pair. Miss time that. 16. Yeah, it was a good return of serve, sir. trickery there from Jikel. Yes. Obviously full of confidence Don't right now. So he should be. 17, 8. Yeah, and um, even though I said in the beginning that it could be a difficult match, they've sort of um, answered the questions and said um, this is still a good draw in the Super Thousand tournament. Yeah. A new pairing. 18 from Denmark. It's another good serve, Steen. Yeah. And this really has been eight. a demonstration since being 9-13 down in that opening game. As you rightly say, it's all been one-way oh. traffic since then, and it's all been in favour of Jikil and Del Rue. Oh. All the strings over. went. Taken. Ten, Delaying the inevitable, one suspects. What a delightful shot to end the match in favour of Tom Jiquel and Delphine Delroux. One by Tom Jiquel, Delphine Delroux, 21-15, 21-10. Scoreline confirmed by the ump up as we re-look at that final rally. This is the most delightful little block across court from Jiquel. Well, perfect perfect block and perfect tactics in mixed doubles and their confirmation of their victory 21 15 21 10 in 36 minutes
So the Impact Arena, where we are based for three weeks in the uh, Nontobori province. And if you're wondering where that is, that's about...